Welcome to this screencast on working with Overleaf. First, let us have a look at the general workflow of a book in Language Science Press. It contains five major steps. Submission, review, proofreading, typesetting, and publication. For the complete description of the workflow, have a look at the screencast, The Workflow of Language Science Press. It is obligatory to hand in a LaTeX file for the version incorporating reviewers' comments. You are, of course, free to write in LaTeX already for the initial submission. Overleaf lets you write LaTeX documents in your browser. In order to start a document in Overleaf, there are two possibilities. Either use our template available at our website or use the Office Conversion Service on the bottom of the same page. The Overleaf window consists of two panes, right and left. On the right side, you have the PDF. You can scroll in the PDF. A typical book project consists of several files. In order to see the files, click on Project at the top left corner. This opens the File Explorer. Choose a file in the folder Chapters. In the middle pane, you now have some source text. The PDF is generated from the source text. The source text can be edited in rich text mode or in source code mode. We will assume you use rich text mode. In order to edit your book, simply write some text in the left pane. You can apply the formatting available at the top. In order to see your changes in the PDF, you have to refresh the PDF. To refresh, click on the button on the top right corner. Refreshing can take some time, especially if your book is very long. You can set the refreshing mode to manual or auto. We recommend the manual mode. The source code and the PDF can be viewed independently, but they are linked together. You can jump from the PDF to the source code by double-clicking on the PDF. To jump from the source code to the PDF, right-click and select Find Position in Preview. The most relevant files are found in the folder Name Chapter. Other relevant files start with local. For example, local metadata.tech and local commands.tech. Change the metadata accordingly. And refresh to see the changes. You can navigate the folders, like on your desktop computer. You can also add new files. To add a new graphic to the folder Figures, you can choose to add a file from the local computer, Dropbox, the Internet, and a variety of other options, including Gmail. I choose a file from my local computer. Select the file you want and upload it. You can now include that graphic in the document. All your progress is saved automatically. In order to mark certain revisions, use the Versions link at the top. Choose a descriptive name for the version. You can download the PDF by clicking on the button PDF. If you want to work with the folders locally, you can download the whole project as a zip archive or save it to Dropbox. If you are familiar with Git, you can also use Overleaf as a repository. Please contact support for further information. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this screencast helpful. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have further questions.